Well, let's get started. Hi guys and welcome back to my podcast, Can't I Ever Be Loved with me, Jonathan Heath. <laughs> I am so, so, so excited to be back. I know it's been like a week since I uploaded the first episode, but I'm excited to be doing this every week. I feel like it's a really cool like thing for me to do and for you guys to express your stories and relationship um experiences so i'm just i'm really happy that i'm back i'm just ready to get into the next story girl because who baby <laughs> if you are new to my page hi welcome how are ya <laughs> if you think that you have a relationship story or experience that needs to be shared you can head over to my link tree and submit to the submission form at the top to submit your story. There's also topics you can choose from as well. But without further ado, let's get on into the next story because I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got the famous iPad here and we have everything pulled up already. So let's just dive right on into it. So today we have a submission from Kathy. They are 19. They Their gender is anonymous. And the topic of the discussion is a mess. Oh, <laughs> now I'm even more excited. All right, let's let's just get on into it. <laughs> Hello, I was once friends with a person whom I had a romantic interest in at one point, who I will refer to as Lauren. We were friends for a good couple of years, had a couple issues here and there, which resulted in us no longer being friends for a short while. But we overall had a good friendship. At least that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, let's. <laughs> Lauren was a very, very toxic, narcissistic, manipulative, and overall a horrendous friend. Jesus, baby, God. There were so many red flags I looked over or simply ignored as their offensive jokes, allowing their online friends to treat me and others terribly, cheated on their previous partner multiple times without them knowing, dated a minor at some point. Lauren is over the age of 18. I have to stop it right there. Cause a minor dated a minor. Um, holy Jesus. Wow, oh, okay. And would constantly twist your words to make you look like the bad person in an argument and make themselves be the victim every time. Damn, they have such an intense victim complex. It's honestly mind baffling that they had managed to get away with so many f up things. In the end, this was a very messy situation. I, I, we're gonna take a break really quick. All right, for those who are new, I offer in my submission form, if those want advice from me and or viewers in the comments. So if you're in the comments, this person does want advice. So feel free to voice your opinion down below. Oh, okay. First of all, um, I'm glad that you are not friends with this person anymore. Um, this sounds like a person who is just not the vibe at all. Red flag, red X, no. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I do think that um, this is probably the best thing to do is just to not be friends with this person because from what I've heard in this story, um, offensive jokes, narcissistic toxic that's just not the vibe and dating a minor hello dating a minor um i i really just i don't i i don't know i i don't know what to say um but but I... <laughs> yeah comment down below <laughs> All right, you guys, if you enjoyed hearing this mess, please, you know, like, comment, you know, subscribe, whatever, you know, follow, do whatever you want to do. But thank you for watching. If you still are, I actually had fun reading this. This is very messy. If you would like to submit your own story, like I said, you can go to my link tree and submit your own story. It's on my Instagram page if you want to go there. Um, it's in the, um, if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the comments section below. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to stream Can't I Have Love on all platforms. And yeah, the next episode will be next Friday. I will see you guys. Until then, 
Hope you have a great rest of your day. And thank you for watching.